Hi, my name is Alicia with Apex Filling and today I'm going to demonstrate how to disassemble the tabletop piston filler for cleaning. For the disassembly of the Apex tabletop piston filler, you're going to need one 8mm hex key and one 4mm hex key. Step 1. Be sure to close the pneumatic slide valve. Push in the emergency stop. Remove the hopper by loosening the sanitary clamp and set the hopper aside. Use the 4mm hex key to remove the nozzle air cylinder bolts. You'll also use the 4mm hex key to remove the bolts, holding the black nozzle cap. Remove the cup seal. Remove the o-ring from the nozzle shaft. Unscrew the nozzle tip. Then use your standard cleaning procedure to clean all components. After cleaning, then reassemble. Replace the nozzle tip. Reinstall the nozzle U-cup seal with the U-cup side down. Install black nozzle cap with the two short 4mm Allen screws. Then replace O-ring to the nozzle shaft and install the nozzle shaft and air cylinder with the two long 4mm bolts. Loosen and remove the linkage bolt with an 8mm hex key. Remove the sanitary clamp to remove the fill nozzle. Remove the clamp between the three-way directional valve. Once the three-way valve is removed from the piston filler, it can be disassembled for cleaning. First, remove both of the spring clamps from either side of the valve. Remove the flat cap. Use the gray plastic dowel supplied with your filler to tap the inner core from the outer core of the valve. Remove the O-ring from the inner core and valve housing. Clean as necessary. Reinstall both O-rings. Apply a small amount of lubricant to both O-rings. Reinstall the core into the valve body. Replace the caps and the spring clamps. Hand rotate the valve its full motion to make sure it rotates freely. Loosen both of the two ratchet style handles and remove the product barrel. Remove the piston O-rings. Reinstall piston O-rings. Apply a small amount of lubricant to both O-rings and install the product barrel. Tighten the black ratchet handles. Install the three-way valve. Be sure to insert the gasket between the product barrel and the three-way valve and install the sanitary clamp. Replace the bolt and washer to the valve linkage arm and tighten it. Install the nozzle assembly and gasket and clamp the sanitary clamp. Reinstall the hopper gasket and then the hopper and install the sanitary clamp. Make sure all clamps are hand tight. Thanks for watching. Be sure to call Apex for all of your filling and capping needs.